In this video, I'm going to show you why it's a bad idea to use insecure third-party NFC cards for Unify Access. Welcome, Cassian. My name's Chris with Crosstalk Solutions, and this is the Flipper Zero. It's been called a Tamagotchi for hackers, but really, it's just a wireless multi-tool that has the ability to read and then replay all sorts of different wireless signals, including infrared, sub one gigahertz, RFID, and NFC. NFC stands for Near Field Communication, and it's a set of communication protocols that enables communication between two devices. You've used NFC if you've ever bought an Amiibo for your Nintendo Switch, or if you've used contactless payment from a credit card or your smartphone to buy your groceries, or if you use cards for an access control system at work. Welcome, Major. One such access control system is Unify Access, and you can see my test setup here. Unify Access uses NFC cards to authenticate employees and then grant them access to various doors within your building. The Unify Access starter kit that you can see here comes with a pack of 20 access cards. If we look at the data sheet for these cards, we can see that they are ISO 14443 Type A standard NFC cards. The specific type of card is MyFair Desfire EV2, and they also feature the quote, Unify Access Proprietary Security Protocol. These MyFair Desfire EV2 cards are actually pretty robust cards. They have four kilobytes of memory on board, which means they have enough storage space for both a unique identifier as well as a strong cryptographic key. These cards go for anywhere between two to four dollars on Amazon. Much cheaper than these MyFair cards are NTAG215 NFC tags, or NTAG21X NFC tags. Uh, these are what like a Nintendo Amiibo uses. They've got 504 bytes of storage, which means they can hold a unique identifier, but there's really no extra room for any sort of secure keys. These cheap NTAG215 NFC tags retail for between 35 and 65 cents on Amazon. Now, when it comes to Unify Access, pretty much any type of NFC technology seems to work. Of course, you can gain access with your standard Unify Access NFC card. Welcome, Major. But you could also use something like a YubiKey, also works just fine. Welcome, Deidre. Finally, it does actually work with these cheap NTAG215 tags. Welcome. Cassian. So as you can see, all three different types of NFC can be configured for use with Unify Access. But even though you can use any type of NFC with Unify Access, this is very much not recommended. All right, so let's try to use our Flipper Zero to now read the official Unify Access card. So on the Flipper Zero, I am coming down to NFC and we're going to say read and it reads the card as unknown ISO tag, and you can see the UID right there. Now, let's try to replay this onto Unify Access. So we're gonna say more, and we're gonna say emulate UID. Nothing, right? So it is not doing anything. Let's try the same thing with our YubiKey. So we're gonna read the YubiKey. There we go, we can see it is again, unknown ISO tag, but it is an ISO 14443-4 NFC type A. Uh, let's go ahead and now emulate this uh, ID or the UID. And again, absolutely nothing. So it will not open up Unify Access. Now, let's use our super cheap NTAG 215 NFC tag. So we're gonna read. There, we've read it, and it actually does say that it is NTAG215. We're gonna say more, we're gonna say emulate, and we are right in to Unify Access. So as you can see, these cheaper cards are super easy to copy and then replay with a device such as the Flipper Zero. Now, why am I bringing this up, right? Well, I bring this up to demonstrate for educational purposes only that you should never use these types of cheap NFC tags for an important function such as access control. But I also bring this up because I'm curious, like why is this even allowed with Unify Access? Now, I don't know enough personally about NFC cards to really understand the technological differences between these two types of cards, but how is it even possible to use 
an insecure card with Unify Access in the first place. If we go back to the data sheet for these Unify Access cards, it specifically states that they use the Unify Access proprietary security protocol. Why is it that Unify Access can't determine that a cheap NFC card doesn't have the ability to even use such a security protocol? They should block all of these types of cards as invalid when you try to use them with Unify Access. Or at least lock down Unify Access so that it only works with the official Unify NFC cards. I mean, they don't seem to have any issues with locking down Unify Protect so that it only works with proprietary Unify cameras. Why can't this be the same given the secure nature of access control systems in the first place? If you know the answers to these questions, I am super curious to find out. So please comment below to help educate myself as well as others as to why you believe Unify Access allows non-secure NFC cards to be used at all. And if there's anything that you or they can do to prevent that. All right, now click over here on the right for more videos that I have handpicked for you to watch next. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.